Hey apes, hope everybody's having a good day today. Just wanted to do a quick video update. I haven't done one in a few days. I've been pretty slack, just watching everybody else's videos. So I guess I'm not a uh, content creator <laughs> number one. But anyway, I figured I better give something as an update. So great day for AMC especially. GME not bad, 0.87% in the green and AMC 6.15. So both nice green days. Um, Take a look at those charts. Do they look anything alike? Like how can two unconnected stocks be so similar in their price action? The percentages aren't the same, but when you look at the scale of um, GME's price range compared to AMC's, that almost makes it stranger, right? Like they're having the exact same movement, this, I guess, algorithmic movement, right? Like you can tell they're moving in concert. So a computer somewhere is just trading them together, right? They buy together, they sell together. And then you see this similar price movement. Um, crazy. But, you know, hey, it's a green day for both. And so we're pretty happy about that. If we zoom out on uh, AMC right now, let's see if I can do it. Well, maybe not because my picture is sort of in the way. Um, Let's go up here. There we go. This will do it. If we go up to the one month, one day. So if we're taking a look at this, um, we have three green days in a row here, right? And this upward movement, movement pushing towards 40, hopefully. Um, if we zoom out even further and we go to our three month and look at our one day. So here's our big run up, right? In June, so that's $72. And then we coasted in the 50s and 60s, touching 60, flirting with it quite a while. Then we had this drop off in July, right down here into the 30s, just below 40 and all the way down to 30. And now we're starting to see this pull back up, hopefully. So hopefully, like these three green days way back when at the end of May, led into this June push, maybe this little buying momentum here is going to push us into something green. Who knows? Maybe it will be a horrible mess. But at the same time, there's some good things happening with AMC. Let's take a look at a few of them. Number one, take a look at our FTDs. So um, when we look back here and we see all the price action, so the dotted line up here is our price action. The green down here are our FTDs. Remember, FTDs aren't additive. This is a cumulative number. So when it's sitting up here right around 4.6 million, 4 million there, 4.4 4 there. So, and then all the way down here, 9,000. So as it goes into July. So we can see with failure to deliver, so there's a couple of things. So when the price action's um, hot, when there's a lot of volume, sometimes uh, there's FTDs because there's just too much demand for the stocks and they oversell and then they fail to deliver some of them and then over time that gets fixed allegedly. So we see as the FTD spike, so does the price or vice versa as the price spikes, so does the FTD, FTDs um, and then it goes down and up and down. So this hump mirrors this price action up here, right? We know as we went into July, uh, we got to that crappy price, we saw like $29. So it got pretty bad. We don't know what's happening now, and that's the thing with FTDs. They're a lagging record or lagging indicator. So we look back and we say, oh, look, the FTDs bear the price, but we don't get this data almost a month really um, late. And so we look back and see how it fits. So right now, maybe there's uh, increased FTDs. Maybe there's some margin calls. Who knows? Um, if they are, they're pretty small. We'll find out, I guess, in the end. In the end, we'll know everything. Um, take a look at some of the AMC news. <laughs> Motley Fool always makes me laugh. So a day ago, AMC failed to live up to the hype last week, and that's why they're down. Then uh, a couple of hours ago, like one of the rare, actual, pretty good news pieces from them. Um, and they talk about how um, Free Guy did really well in theaters and because there was no streaming competitor. Um, and so that, and they mentioned that 45 day window of exclusivity that, um, AMC got from Warner brothers now, which is really going to help. And also they're saying, yeah, without streaming competition that other movies could do well. And taking a look at this, um, maybe movie theaters aren't a dead cat. So, Hey, Motley Fool, uh, take it for what it's worth. 
Um, going back again, you see Rentec, a uh, big hedge fund, um, in, tripled its AMC stake last quarter. So a lot of the 13 Fs are coming out on the SEC so people can see what these institutional buyers are buying and selling. And um, almost without fail, they're buying. Take a look at this. This is the AMC institutional ownership over time. Look at this last quarter, $2.34 billion worth bought compared to 144 million sold. Like you see it, nice big green bar. The big whales are buying AMC. Even at 30 some dollars, they think that's a good enough deal, a strong investment that they're going to get returns on their dollar. So obviously we're not all totally crazy. Um, so either that or they're just buying it up so they can lend the shares to short the crap out of us and uh, ruin the squeeze by selling off at key points. Who knows? Um, but at the end of the day, they're big businesses, pension funds, all that sort of thing, and they're buying AMC, lots of it. Um, so it can't be bad, a bad sign when the financials are getting better, when institutional investors are buying up shares. We know we're not sitting on a dead cat, as trade trades would say. We are sitting on a very live cat, like Titan. <laughs> anyway, um, overall market-wise, we're, we're seeing signs from the reverse repo going over a trillion dollars day after day, where banks are hiding their cash uh, with the Fed and earning interest on it because uh, the stock market isn't the place they want it to be. So the overall market is kind of... Uh, Blue chip stocks like Apple, Microsoft are down. So those are signs that perhaps the overall market is in for a bit of a correction um, or a crash, whatever whatever it ends up being. But uh, the theories are out there from a lot of apes and others in the industry as well, saying that AMC and GME and other ape stocks or meme stocks may be safe places to hide and hedge um, your investments because they have such a strong investor base that doesn't want to sell. Even if the market gets scary, they'll hold on. And so it makes them safer to invest in. So maybe now some of this uh, fresh money they're pulling out of other investments and other long positions, they're putting into AMC and GME just because they seem safer. Charlie boy, Charlie Gasparino. Wow. So this guy, he is not Charles Payne, uh, you know, the silverback Charles. Char this, this Charles is the opposite. He's an ape hater. He's always out there bashing apes and trying to talk about how stupid they are. He's the really one of the guys behind dumb money, I think. So he puts this breaking news out the other day. Uh, Robin Hood stock was going down. He puts out this breaking news that the Democrats, the Financial Services Committee, they've now shelved the plans to ban payment for order flow. So it's off the table. So Robin Hood's business model is safe. And then the stock spikes, it goes crazy. Matt Kors did a really good rant on this, so I'm not gonna get into it here. If you wanna check out Matt, he definitely uh, goes into it there. But needless to say, this was not breaking news on August 16th. This payment for order flow has been studied by the SEC since 2000 or even earlier. The House panel that he mentioned there they looked at this and they directed the study in, to study and consider banning or limiting payment for order flow. That was passed. It's still in effect. The SEC is still supposed to do this. It was never banned in the bill. It was never talked about banning it in the bill. It was always the SEC being directed to study it and make you know recommendation on it. And that's still there. Nothing changed. There was literally zero news. He made it up. He said, you know, breaking news. Right, breaking. It wasn't breaking. It was old news by a month or more, and he just used it to pump up Robin Hood at an opportune moment. Maybe he did one of his homies a favor. Old Vlad and him went out for martinis after. So to me, this is sheer market manipulation. Like I said, Matt rants better than I do on it, but it's a real piss off. Then he also put another picture of an empty AMC theater out. Um, that Trey was talking about today in another Twitter guy, uh, I forget his name, but he put it out there that um, this guy is the CEO of a big hedge fund and he's short on AMC and he tweets this picture of an empty AMC theater. And I roll my eyes and put it in quotes because it doesn't look like an AMC theater. It's all blue seats and weird lighting and AMC is known for its red seating. And, uh, but yeah, he's claiming, just he shows he has a ticket for an AMC theater 
which you could easily go and buy online after the fact or before or whatever anyway um and still use a picture that is an amc but whether it is or it isn't that's not the point the point is that you've got a guy in power who's short on it who doesn't really disclose that with the tweet and puts out something negative with the company basically saying you know they're a dead cat they're they're washed up there's no one in these theaters which obviously the box office numbers are showing that's not true so anyway i think the the billionaires that the uh, uh, shorts on amc and GameStop are getting really scared they see the directions going and they thought we would have given up months ago and at some point they're gonna have to face the music and, and just get it over with and bite the bullet hopefully sooner than later because you know winter's coming and it'd be nice to spend it in a tropical place um Take, so taking a look at all that, there's a lot more positive sentiment about AMC right now. The news articles are becoming more positive. Institutional buyers are piling in. Uh, apes are holding strong. The community is stronger than ever. So really, there's no surprise that we've had three green days in a row. I expect there'll be more green days this week. This could be, fingers crossed, you know, this could be the next June event and then some, right? Maybe we'll finally hit that $100 mark and just boom, you know, it's all uphill from there. Downhill, uphill. Downhill's like easy, but bad in a way. But anyway, it's all good news from there. So anyway, apes, hope you have a great day. Hope that helped. Um, just to reassure you that a lot of good sentiment out there. Very bullish picture for AMC right now. We had a few green days. Hopefully the rest of the week will be green as well. It's hard to get a green day every day, but hey, I'm seeing some other stocks out there, like 30, 40% days. I remember you know those those big days for us in June. So let's hope that people are ending their summer vacations and uh, wanna get back at the computers and start trading AMC and GME again. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I do own AMC and GME shares. They're kind of my two main positions. Um, but hey, please hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Hopefully soon I'll get a live stream out there and uh, give that a shot because I haven't done that yet. Anyway, peace out, apes. Have a good one.